Morning folks and welcome back. I'm back out in the water today. This was my last opportunity to get out in the canoe before heading up to Scotland in a couple of weeks. So I thought I would come out and hit some bigger water. I'm out on the on the river Orwell out in the estuary. I've just set off from a place called Pin Mill where I was able to park and there's a, a concrete uh, slipway, a kind of all tide slipway there. So I was able to, to get down um, onto the water despite the fact that the, the tide is going out. Yeah, really looking forward to today. I've wanted to paddle this bit of water for a long time and I've got quite a nice day for it. A bit of breeze. I've got my sail with me so we'll just see what the day brings. Very nice indeed. If you want to see a really cool Kemp video, um, head over to East Anglia Bushcraft. I'll put a link to his video below. He did <laughs> he did an overnight hammock camp in that um, old boat hull there, that boat wreck, which is really cool. Um, Craig's a, a veteran. He's uh, really into his bushcraft and he likes a good beer. Yeah. I've uh, just pulled over to the side um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna set my sail up, and um, I don't feel confident enough to do that out in the water. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of a breeze today, um, and I just think that'll push me along quite nicely. So I'm gonna get everything set up. Um, it's really muddy where I am, so I'm gonna have to do this from inside the canoe, um, and uh, then I'll put this big camera away and uh, and just film on the GoPro for a little bit. I think just in case. <laughs>
I've taken a risk and got my big camera out um, because we're going past the big container port at Felixstowe. Uh, this place is vast, as are the ships. I'm going to spin that around so you can take a look. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but they are whoppers. There's that one there, and there's a few more a little bit further down. I've been uh, just cruising along. I did start with um, without my rudder, just using my paddle as a rudder, and that worked quite well. But it meant that I didn't have a hand free to, you know, change camera positions and things like that. So I've I've just lowered my uh, my fixed rudder down. It's just a bit easier for for filming and things. But um, yeah, I've been buzzing along. I've got a I've got a sailing app that I've had running while I've been while I've been going along, and I've been sort of averaging four to five knots. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, with a downwind, so the wind behind me, to sail quite far out and, um, and just, yeah, just going along, buzzing along. It's quite, quite nice. Obviously minimal effort using the wind as power and, um, and very nice. I've just pulled up onto a little beach next to the Yacht Club here in Shotley. Um, I had a bit of a battle getting ashore actually because once I'd gone past this little kind of headland I had to tack back and um, yeah the headland was doing sort of weird things with the wind. <laughs> I had to paddle a bit as well but uh, I got here. There's a few people about, it's obviously a busy little spot, uh, sort of picnic tables and a few people walking their dogs and stuff. And, uh, and that view across there to Felixstowe. A few sailing boats going past. Out to the North Sea over there. Do that gap between those two light ships there. And then Harwich across the water there.
while I'm stopped here, I'm gonna have a bite to eat. I've uh, bought some noodles and some tin fish. It seemed appropriate. And I bought my pocket, pocket stove and a, and a transit burner. So I'm gonna get some water on to heat up to, to do those noodles. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I had my fishy noodles, which were very nice, and I've just finished it off with some maple syrup candy, which was very kindly sent to me by Corey over in Maine in the US. Thank you, Corey, they were delicious. I'm gonna get everything packed back away, back into the boat and get back on the water. Um, it's just about low tide now, so hopefully by the time I get on the water, I'll have the tide to help me with the paddle back upstream to where I put in this morning. The sun's just come out. We did have a few spots of rain a few minutes ago, but it doesn't seem to have materialized into anything more than that although the clouds are looking a little bit ominous in the direction <laughs> where i'm going to be headed but we'll see what happens there yeah nice little spot here though watch the world go by Right, we're off. I decided to put my um, my top on just because I didn't like the look of those clouds. There is forecast for some storms actually, <laughs> but not until this afternoon, but you just never know, do you? They could come in early. So I thought I'd put this on just so I don't have to faff about and try and get it on while I'm out on the water. Yeah, excuse the color. <laughs>
just while we're going along, um, as I said earlier, I'm off to Scotland in a couple of weeks on a big canoe trip. Most of you will already know it's a, it's a sponsored canoe trip organized by a guy called Ant over at Ant Survive the Night. Um, and it's to raise as much money as possible for the Alzheimer's Society. Ant's dad was diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's last year and, um, and it's been really tough on him and his family. You know, it's, it's, a horrible, it's a horrible illness. Seeing somebody that you love and that you care for just deteriorate and um, I, I, I can't even imagine what it would be like to be honest. And I know that Ant has been going through hell. Um, so he decided to do something about it, you know, and just um, do a little something and, and, and try and raise some money. There's a whole bunch of us going and it would be amazing if you could if you could donate and, and help and support us and um, and help and support the Alzheimer's Society. I'll put a link to Ant's Just Giving page in the description box below for anybody who hasn't um, who hasn't already donated. Um, we're almost at £5,000 which is amazing so thank you to everybody who has already donated um, but it would be amazing to get that even further. Um, you know I think we can make it to six and in fact if we make it to six, I'll even take my hat off. <laughs> and that's, that's something for me, I tell you. There'll be lots of uh, really cool videos coming out of the trip. Uh, lots of people that film um, are going along, like I said. So, um, yeah, there'll be no shortage of, um, of cool material, I'm sure. It's going to be it's gonna be good fun. Well, with a combination of paddle sailing and tacking across this river, I'm actually making pretty good headway, despite going almost directly into the wind. I'm just sort of zigzagging slightly and just some assistance from the paddle and it's uh, working really well. Yeah, time to cut across again. It's been a bit of a different trip out on the water today, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been nice to get the sail back up and just to get a bit of fresh air and to be somewhere different. I really enjoy a tidal estuary. You've got a little bit more to think about. It's a bit more of a challenge. You've got the tides to take into account. I've got one more tack just to get me back around and into Pin Mill and um, then I can get out on that concrete slipway there and uh, back to where I've parked. There's a public pay and display car park just up the hill which is really handy yeah it's been it's been good fun it was certainly a lot easier 
going out this morning uh, with that wind behind me but I've still managed to make good headway coming back it's just taken a bit longer because I've had to tack across the across the estuary but that's all right that's that's part of it you know that's part of the fun <laughs> yeah all good um, next week's video is going to be all about my kit list um, for my uh, Scotland canoe trip I thought people would be interested to see what I'm taking what I'm going to pack um, I still haven't fine-tuned it yet that's my plan for this week um, so I'll go through everything I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking and uh, my choices and why and all the rest of it in that video so that'll be that'll be next week's and then it'll be Scotland cannot wait I'm very very excited those clouds are looking really dark and ominous <laughs> I think I'd better turn this boat around and get off the water before I get struck by lightning or something. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.